shocking incidents of intolerance that has emerged from Bengaluru, where we are given to understand that a student of a college was uh, barred or being stopped from entering the state assembly premises because she was uh, wearing a hijab and because of her headdress, she was uh, subject to unnecessary, unrequired uh, scrutiny. Deepak now joins us with more details. Now, uh, the, you know, there has been a contradiction that's come forth, but what we see in the visuals is that the security officials were reluctant to allow her in despite the fact that she is dressed in a proper suit and all that she's doing is she's covered her head she's wearing a traditional headgear absolutely it's quite bizarre that the congress government in one from one end uh, preaches secularism and the other end you have uh, a, a muslim girl here wearing a hijab and 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 the marshals here not allowing her inside now the first question that really arises is what sort of security threat does a hijab uh, really provide for her for them to actually you know not allow her inside and finally she was made to wait for several minutes before they actually could uh, grant permission for her to uh, get inside but not before actually asking her to take off the scarf and uh, and they say this is security protocol and what's even more surprising is that when we spoke to the chief marshal he claims that gurkhas are not even allowed inside though she was wearing a hijab uh, he, 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 he he couldn't seem to uh, differentiate between the two and he says if, if you're wearing a burqa you will not even be allowed inside and he even goes on to the extent of saying if you wear a burqa you cannot even watch the proceedings but this woman here was wearing a hijab even then um, uh, she was made to go through that embarrassing wait for a, for a few minutes before she was allowed inside with the rest of the batchmates who were, who were mm -hmm. there to actually watch the proceedings.